concerts or theater. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it's at in this great land of ours. My man Smooth at SmoothTickets.com, he got them tickets. I'm telling you, boxing, baseball, NBA, NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip-hop, theater, Broadway, he's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you, SmoothTickets.com. Once again, that's SmoothTickets.com or give him a call at 404-374-1150. Once again, that's 404-374-1150. You got to tell him, though, that I sent you. You got to tell him that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, SmoothTickets.com. That's SmoothTickets.com. Yeah! The Sleeper Pick, the guy only you believe in. In one week fantasy football on DraftKings, he can be the difference. So trust your gut. Trust your numbers. Trust your Uncle Vito if you want. But know this, that sleeper is out there. The question is, who's going to play him? This is DraftKings. Welcome to the big time. To create your account, click on the banner link on the DougStewartShow.com or the Doug Stewart Show app. FootballSportsApp.com. What is it? It's the first live action mobile sports app played in real time and a cool way to emerge yourself in the game. Make coaching calls just like the pros. Check out the video. Download for free this fall and register now again at FootballSportsApp.com. Want to be part of this new exciting technology and make money? Fill out the short form at the bottom of the website and mention TDSS. Again, footballsportsapp.com. Yes, sir. Now the funeral is over and all the tears are dried up. Niggas hanging tape on the cut, getting fired up. Looking for the nigga who pulled a pistol on my homie. And I for an eye, so now your life is what you owe me. Look deep into the eyes of your motherfucking killer. I want you to witness your motherfucking murder. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. We're going to get into some entertainment here in a second, but well, 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 look what I pulled up. Alex Smith's numbers and Ryan Fitzpatrick's numbers. (laughs) Before I read these numbers, continuing our conversation from the last segment, let me read this one quick message in the chat room on Spreaker.com. And I want you to book bookmark this. From Mr. Angry Black Man. Oh, he's an angry black man. The angry Black Man says, one too many hits to the head, Doug. Gino is hot garbage. Hit your wagon to someone that can play. First of all, let me correct you, sir, once again. And remind you that I've never said Gino Smith was going to be the next Joe Montana. All I've ever said. Well, I'm doing this radio for 16 years, as I like to see every quarterback, every player get the same opportunity that someone else does from a different background. How about that? Let's put it like that. Now, as I said when I went to the break, let's pull up Alex Smith's numbers and Ryan Smith's and Ryan uh, Fitzpatrick's numbers. Okay, and I gave you the number for Geno Smith. Let's let's review. Let's recap. Geno Smith's two years starting in the NFL as a second round draft pick. His first year, he threw 12 touchdowns and 21 interceptions. That's horrible. His second full year, he started 13 games. He threw 13 touchdowns and 13 interceptions. A drastic improvement, I would say. But remember, they're quarterbacks. They struggle first. They get better over time, right? Give them the opportunity. They should get better. You use a second-round draft pick on the guy. You want to see him grow. You got money invested in him. Uh, We want to see the guy grow and get better. Let's look at Alex Smith's numbers. Number one pick in the NFL draft. His first year starting, he starts nine games. Okay? He starts nine games, plays nine games. He throws one touchdown the entire year. The number one pick in the draft, he throws one touchdown the entire year in 11 interceptions. Okay, once again, I'm for giving every quarterback an opportunity to grow, but one touchdown and 11 interceptions sounds crappy to me, but that's fine. Year number two of Alex Smith, 
He starts 16 games. Alex Smith throws 16 touchdowns and 16 interceptions. Very familiar to Geno Smith who threw 13 touchdowns and 13 interceptions. The difference is, is that Geno Smith is probably never going to play in the NFL again, and Alex Smith is in his 11th year. Year number four for Alex Smith, he throws 18 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Year number five, he throws 14 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Nothing to write home to mama about. But once again, Alex Smith is in his 11th year. How about Ryan Fitzpatrick? The man that everybody loves. Let's give Ryan Fitzpatrick all of this money. Ooh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Ryan Fitzpatrick, this, that, and the other. First of all, Ryan Fitzpatrick didn't hit the field really until his fourth year. His fourth year in the league for the Cincinnati Bengals, he had that breakout year. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick threw in his starting role with the Cincinnati Bengals. He started 12 games. He threw eight touchdowns, nine interceptions. His second year starting, he throws nine touchdowns, ten interceptions. The next year, he throws 23 touchdowns and 15 interceptions. Good year in relative terms based on where he came from. Then he throws the next year 24 and 23. The year after that, 24 and 16. The year after that, 14 and 12. 17 and 8. In other words, Ryan Fitzpatrick is average at best. But this you already knew because you listened to the Doug Stewart Show. So stop it. Stop it. On the humbug, on the humbug, the two names I pulled out of the air. I proved this whole sentiment about Geno Smith sucks. No, as a matter of fact, Geno Smith is on course to being a Hall of Fame quarterback based on these other guys. (laughs) What? But you've watched the NFL. You know how these things work. Chances are he'll be selling insurance to somebody's insurance company in two years. You know that. You know that. And it's a sad commentary on life. I like a lot of things, man. But something I like more than anything else is proving my point. Hey, uh, today's date is October 25th, 2016. It's a tribute Tuesday. Celebrating birthdays today. Or get your damn birthdays together, Dougie. The great Sierra. Sierra turns 31 years old today. Happy birthday to Sierra. Got her man now. She good to go. We <laughs> got her man now. She good to go. Happy birthday, Sierra. One of ATL's finest. I mean, she is fine. I mean, I, I kid and I joke about Sierra, but Sierra is fine as white wine. Ain't no denying that. Yeah. From, uh, uh, what's the name of that movie? Oh, Hot Hot Tub Time Machine. <laughs> the movie. Uh, actor Craig Robinson turns 45 years old. Happy birthday to him. That's a funny dude. I like him. I like him. Yeah. From Brian, uh, Brian Kelly. Head coach of, who's he the head coach of? The Notre Dame Fighting Irish, who lost, by the way, this weekend <laughs> to uh, Stanford. Brian Kelly turns 55 years old. Let's see if I can pull it up real quick here. Damn, how the mighty have fallen. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Notre Dame, after just going to the national championship a couple of years ago, is 2-5 and five right now. Speaking of this, giving this, uh, giving guys opportunities to grow and and learn and get better. Notre Dame probably should have kept Tyrell Willingham. They probably would be in a better place right now. (laughs) 
Wow, they've had Tyrone Willingham, they've had Charlie Weiss, um, and now it looks like Brian Kelly, uh, his career is going to be over because I can't see Notre Dame and the Notre Dame brand keeping a guy around who consistently over the last couple of years seems like that they're getting worse and worse. Uh, celebrating his 45th birthday today is Pedro Martinez. I like me some Pedro. Um, and celebrating his 76th birthday today is old punk ass Bobby Knight. You talk about a bully. <laughs> you talk about a bully and a cat that's given the pass by the media. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Bobby Knight turns 76 years old today. Um, and those are your birthdays, man. If you got a birthday coming up. If you got a birthday coming up, shoot me an email, man, at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. And, uh, and, and I'll give you a birthday shout out on the show. Do we have any birthday shout outs to give out to anybody? I don't think so. I don't think so. And if I did miss it, you know, we'll, we'll take care of it tomorrow. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get it in at some point. Better late than never. I uh, always say today is uh, October 25th. Today is National Chucky the Notorious Killer Doll Day. What? No lie. No lie. All right. So today is October 25th. Today is National Greasy Food Day, uh, which you got to cut that out if you're my age. Uh, today is also National Sourest Day. I guess sour food, maybe. And also today is the Notorious Killer Doll Day as well in honor of Chucky. Chucky the Notorious Killer Doll Day is... Observed annually on October 25th. For those who aren't Chucky fans, you have a pass. All others get your popcorn and beverages of choice and hit play. How do you observe Chucky the Notorious Killer Doll Day? <laughs> Watch the various Chucky movies and use Chucky the Notorious Killer Doll Day to post on social media. Um, so if you're a greenhorn, you may be totally lost at what the hell I'm talking about. There were these movies that came out, I'm going to guess I was probably in college. Maybe, yeah, I think I was in college. I think I remember taking some, you know, chicks to the movies and seeing these Chucky movies or whatever. Um, So you're talking 20 plus years ago. There were these movies, these series of movies that came out called Child's Play. And they were about this girl's doll named Chucky that was the most evil bastard you will ever see in your life. Movies was scary as hell. And you know, I don't like scary movies. But I remember taking like a date out to the movies. You know how you take a girl out to a movie and she gets scared. She wants to hug up on you and you can feel up on her booty and stuff like that. So I suffered through those Chucky movies, man. But they were uh they were they were funny. They were funny and they were good. At the same time, I guess, in relative terms. I mean, classic. They probably did three. Uh, and the name of the movies were called Child's Play. They weren't they, they weren't called the Chucky movies. They were called Child's Play. And that damn Chucky, man, he was a son of a bitch. I'm telling you. A son of a doll. Well. Hey, NBA season gets started tonight. We get back. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the slate for tonight, first game of the season. And also, we'll recap uh, the Doug Stewart Show Fantasy Football Challenge and the Doug Stewart Show League in Yahoo when we get back from the break. All right? Don't go away. Back in three minutes. Don't go away. The sleeper pick, the guy only you believe in. In one week fantasy football on DraftKings, he can be the difference. So trust your gut, trust your numbers, trust your Uncle Vito if you want. But know this, that sleeper is out there. The question is, who's gonna play him? This is DraftKings, welcome to the big time. To create your account, click on the banner link on the DougStewartShow.com or the Doug Stewart Show app. 
Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ?